One of the advantages about the AlphaTrack blood glucose monitoring system is that it only needs a small blood sample, a tiny speck, and getting the sample gets easier every time you do it. Most pet owners become comfortable drawing blood after about five tries. On cats, the best site to obtain a capillary blood sample is the marginal ear vein or the paw pad. On dogs, in addition to the marginal ear vein and the paw pad, the elbow callus or, if your dog doesn't have a tendency to bite, the inner lip also works well. The best site depends on each individual pet. It helps to know at least two capillary sampling sites on your pet. Ask your veterinarian to help select the site that works best. The AlphaTrack starter kit includes everything you need to get started. But before we get Harrison, let's get everything set for the test. Take the meter, test strip vial, lancing device, and lancets out of the pouch. Check the test strip expiration date. Now let's set up the lancing device. Twist the cap off and insert a lancet until it comes to a complete stop. Remove the safety tab and replace the cap to avoid contact with the needle. Select the penetration depth by rotating this wheel. One is the shallowest, four is the deepest. And here's a good tip. When you first start testing your pet, it may help to get them used to the lancing device sound. So try holding it close to their ear and press the button before performing the test. Now let's get Harrison and his test site ready. Here's some tips that may help you. If you choose the marginal ear vein and it's hard to see, it may help to use a flashlight to see the vein better. To get the blood flowing, warm the sample site by gently rubbing, applying a warm cloth or a warm bag or sock filled with rice. To warm the bag, place it in the microwave for 20 seconds. If you're having trouble getting the blood to form into a drop, it may help to apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly to the test site prior to testing. Some pet owners whose pets have long hair find it helpful to shave the small testing area. Now we're ready to get the blood sample. Press and hold the lancing device near the ear vein and push the release button. Applying pressure to the test site may help with the formation of a blood drop. Let's quickly show how to get a blood sample from other areas with Francis here. First up, the paw pad, which could be used on both dogs and cats. Make sure your pet is okay with you touching his feet like Francis, good dog. When lancing a paw, find an area on the side your pet doesn't step on. Press and hold the lancing device to the paw pad and push and release the button. Now let's get a sample from an elbow callus. This only works for dogs, once again, Press and hold to the callus and get an easy sample. Finally, you can get a capillary sampling from the inner lip. Pull the dog lip out, press and hold the lancing device to the inner lip, release the button, and here we go. Another quick sample. Now that we know how to get a sample, let's see how to do a test. It's quick and easy. Once you got a sample, turn the meter on by inserting the strip into the meter port. Quickly confirm that the code on the meter matches the code on the test strip file. Touch one test strip sample area to the blood drop until you see the short lines moving clockwise on the meter display or you hear a beep. This means that the test strip has enough blood. You will see results within seconds. Now apply gentle pressure with gauze or cotton wool to stop the bleeding if needed. That's it, it's easy. Make sure to dispose of the used lancet and the test strip. Here's a good tip. If your blood drop was too small, you may add more blood to the same test strip sample area for up to 60 seconds. Make sure you add blood to the same side of the test strip, though. This might be a good time to give your pet a diabetes-friendly treat as a reward. Right, Francis? Good job. Good boy. Yes, you are. We got a reading. That wasn't so bad, was it, buddy?